Welcome everyone to this Flax Linen webinar from the Alliance for European Flax, Linen and Hemp. We're pleased to present to you the most recent evolutions of the European Flax standard. This webinar is launching a series of video tutorials to come on the European Flax standard. My name is Annabelle Villomalka and I am the Traceability and Certifications Project Manager at the Alliance for European Flax Linen and Hemp. This webinar is in English and will be made available to you as a replay on October 18th, 2023 on our website. For your convenience and better understanding, the replay will also be made available with subtitles in French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese and Chinese. This webinar will cover the following topics. We will start by looking at the context for the evolution of European flax and outline the timeline of implementation for the new version of the standard, the audits and the certificates with a short technical focus on an update to the logo. Our primary, our primary objective at the Alliance is to help certified companies get to grips with the main changes brought to European flax. So I will present an overview of these changes, introduce the new annexes and chapters of the standard, as well as a new specific requirement for traders. In parallel, to support certified companies and brands assimilate the new standard, the Alliance has developed a new website and specific tools for the certification, which we will have a brief look at. Finally, we're excited to announce a few upcoming support tutorials timed throughout Q4 of 2023 and the beginning of 2024. Now let's look at the context for the evolution of our standard. With the European Flex Standard, the Alliance ambitions to offer consumers the guarantee of a premium flax fiber grown in Western Europe in terms of origin and traceability, bringing value to companies, brands, and consumers. A business-to-business -to -business tool for companies within the flax linen value chains and a business-to-consumer tool for brands. To meet markets' expectations, we built European Flax as a robust certification with an open source standard guaranteeing origin and traceability verified by a third-party independent auditor and a verified composition according to an ISO norm. But beyond that, European Flax builds on scientifically researched and proven attributes on environmental impact data, such as life cycle analysis of the European Flax scotched fiber, and on proven remarkable properties of linen, such as thermal regulation, etc. Any company or brand using our certification knows that it can benefit from these differentiating elements specific to Western European fibre and claim them. Numbers confirm the value markets see in such attributes. Over the last three years, European Flax has known an exponential growth of its certified companies across all steps of the supply chain worldwide, plus 870% of growth between early 2020 and mid-2023. We're pleased to count you among the 900 or so companies certified in 35 countries, transforming or trading certified linen products and bringing value to brands and their customers. For European flax to remain in line with the markets and regulations, the Alliance has committed to reviewing and updating its standards and tools at least every five years, since its first publication in 2014. And we are pleased to consolidate European flax further for its third version of the standard, published on July 18, 2023 and coming into effect on February 17th, 2024. What does this effective date mean for you as a certified company? Well, it depends on when your next audit by Bureau Veritas is planned. 
If your next or first audit takes place before February 17, 2024, then for now, nothing changes. Your audit will be performed according to version 2.0, which is currently in effect. However, for the following audit, make sure to familiarize yourself with the version 3.0 of the standard as it will be effective by then. If your first or next audit is due on or after February 17, 2024, it will be performed according to the newest version 3.0. By February 16th of 2025, all certified companies will have been audited according to the newest version 3.0 of the standard. Now, to start going into more detail about the evolutions of European flags, let's start with a small logo update. As a certified company or as a brand, you want to bring additional value to your clients, offer guarantees and differentiation for your products too. Labeling your certified products with the European flags trademark materializes these guarantees to brands and consumers and allows you to make the most of your certification. The European Flax logo has undergone a small modification. It no longer carries the R mark in index. This mark is replaced by a TM for trademark instead. You can get the updated logos by contacting us at the email address on screen and by making sure you have signed our terms of use agreement. Don't hesitate to inform your brand clients as well and refer them to us for their labeling needs. They need to sign a terms of use agreement too. Now to the heart of the matter, what changed in the European flag standard? The official reference documents for the European flag certification remain the standard document itself, detailing the criteria and requirements for companies and products and the certification process document outlining the process to go through with Bureau Veritas. They are the key documents all certified companies must read and refer to. They were developed in collaboration with Bureau Veritas and reviewed by certification experts. From a global standpoint, we have re-engineered and redesigned these documents to make them always clearer and more readable. In terms of contents, we have essentially specified detailed and clarified topics that emerged through the daily use of version 2.0 by certified companies and by the certification body. We have strived to facilitate the identification of applicable criteria by each type of company. This led to the addition of new annexes, new chapters and new requirements. New useful annexes to the standard include a glossary with all the terms and activities cited in the standard with interactive links within the document. The European flax traceability chain, an updated diagram illustrating the links in the value chain that are concerned with certification, with the list of the necessary documents for each tier. A particularly useful new diagram in two steps how to become European Flex certified, to better navigate the certification process depending on your type of activity. A list of accredited laboratories to perform the composition tests applicable to processors with risk of fiber blending. The certification process document includes the updated checklist for processors and traders to help prepare your next version 3.0 audits listing the standards requirements and the corresponding documentation for the audit. Here is a quick glimpse of what the diagrams look like. The traceability chain helps visualize the chain of custody of certified materials from growers until finished products. Depending on where you are on the value chain, you can identify if you need to become certified and which are the required documents. Here is how to become certified, step one. By your activity and how you operate, you can determine which type of certification process you must follow. That of a scutcher, of a processor, 
or of a trader. Step two details the suitable certification process for you. In our efforts to characterize more precisely the criteria and requirement for European flex companies and products, we have added the following chapters. At the beginning of the standard, the objectives and applicability section lays the ground rules and references for the standard. What or who needs to be certified within European flax? What can be labeled and who can use the European flax logo? What are the reference documents for the certification? Within the general requirements for certified companies and products, we introduced a more detailed section on product composition requirements. These composition requirements were distinguished between those for simple products and those for multi-part products. This is in response to clarification requests from our certified companies for specific types of products. Subcontractors were already addressed in version 2.0 of the standard, but we have brought a wealth of detail around the prerequisites for them, their management within the European Flex Certification Framework, the criteria for audits of subcontractors, and how to add or remove them from one's certification scope. Finally, the case of multi-site companies has become very frequent among the European Flex Certified companies. When one certified company owns several sites or companies, how does that work with the European FLAX certification? This new section covers the criteria specific to the company and to the sites, and how to include or remove them from one's certification scope. Finally, we want to highlight a specific new requirement in line with our trajectory of consolidating the European FLAX standard with regards to traceability. Until now, Pure traders that purchase and sell certified materials or goods without performing any transformation were not audited on site, but only remotely. These same players must now be audited on site in year two of their certification cycle if they take physical possession of European Flex certified materials or products, even without transformation. In tandem with the update of the standard, the Alliance has profoundly remodeled its website to match its ambitions to inform, support and promote European flax linen and hemp. Our new website was launched in July with, in particular, dedicated pages on our certifications. A technical document page gathering all the essential documents for certification, the new standard, the certification process, diagrams and checklists are available there. We encourage you to download and read them to understand what European Flex Certification 3.0 will look like for you. These documents are being translated into French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese and Chinese and will be released by the end of the quarter. Our Remodel Certified Companies directory was also made more user-friendly and we even added FAQs on certifications. We will continue to update all the supporting tools and assist certified companies as the effective date of February 17th, 2024 approaches. To support you in getting familiar with the new standard, we invite you to join us for the four topic specific tutorials the Alliance will release every month until the effective date. We will begin with one on invoices and what specific information must appear on the invoice of a certified company for its certified products. We will follow with a focus on subcontractors, how to manage your list of subcontractors for your European flag certification, in which case they may be audited, etc. The third tutorial will deal with multi-site companies and certificates. Who is eligible? What are the requirements and how to manage them? The last tutorial will address product composition. What are simple products? What are multi-part products? 
with a lot of concrete examples. All these contents will be hosted on our website as a resource for certified companies such as you, for those looking to become certified, and for brands as well. We hope you enjoyed this webinar and hope to see you soon for our first tutorial on invoices. Thank you very much and goodbye.